Hi, and welcome to Tone It Up. This is a weighted full body workout. So what I recommend is starting with light weights. You can always go heavier if you need to. I'm gonna be using three pounds throughout the whole entire workout. So still go at your own pace, but challenge yourself. I've got Judy with me, my sister, and Kevin. You ready to get started? Let's start marching in place and warm it up. Just breathing normally. Now knee up, arms up, and reach. Eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, kick it front, arm side. Eight more times. Knee up, arms up. And breathe. Just getting that blood circulating, warming it up. For four, three, two, and kick it front. Strong arms here. Keep breathing. Four, three, two. Now jog in place. Just a light jog here and pump the arms. That's it. Now going into half jack. Now make sure you come down soft into the heels of your feet. And jog it out. Keep going. Nice and easy. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and march it out. Okay, we're going right into the waist, feet wide apart, arms out to the side and reach. Slow counts, isolate that waist, abs in tight. You really want to stabilize your lower body. It might feel a little weird at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Breathing. Now double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, reaching up and over. Eight more, and reach. Across the body. Strong, and use your waist. For eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Now lunging side to side. Really bend those knees and bring it down as low as you can. Other arm comes up high. And breathe. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it here and press. And hold it. Other side. And press it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it here. Now side to side. One, two. Really reaching. Get into it. 
really warms up your legs. Pretty good. For four, three, two, now hold it here and press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Now other side press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Now bring it center, drop it down, grab the ankles, drop your head, get a good hamstring stretch. And walk the feet in, hold the stretch, and roll it up, going right into a reverse lunge. Keep that back straight, knees right over the ankle line. Keep breathing. Now you're going to add a knee up. Two, lift, three, lift, four, five, six, seven, last one. Now add a front kick. And if you need to hang out to a chair for balance here, that's fine. Gets a little bit crazy. The stronger you get, the better your balance is going to get. One more, and hold it down and press. Two, three, four, we love these presses. <laughs> and hold it here, pull it up, switching legs, let's go for one, two. Keep breathing, hold those abdominals in tight, always protecting your back. Add a knee up. Control. One more. Now add a front kick. How you doing back there? <laughs> Hanging in? One more time, hold it down and press. Really gets that old quadricep and hold it down. Pull it up. Now going right into squats, medium stance. Let's go for one, two, three. Keep in mind on that form. Keep your back straight, chest lifted. And push those hips back, back to the back wall. Four more times. One, two, three. Hold it down and press. Two, three, four, five, six. Now hold it here. We're going to squat. Rear leg kick. So when you kick that leg up, pitch your body slightly forward. Keep that back leg straight. Keep going, guys. You can tell he was a dancer because he's doing this really good. <laughs> Excellent, Judy. It helps me, too, just to pitch your body forward slightly because you can get deeper in that, in that leg lift. That's it. Press. Make sure you sit back. If you're going a little wide with that squat, Kevin, keep it medium stance. Make sure the knees are right over that toe line. You don't want to project those knees forward. Control it using your glutes. Squeeze. For four, lift, three, two, one. Now hold it down and press. Two, sit way back. 
Come on. You can do it. Get deep. Press it out. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Get a little deeper if you can. For four, three, two. Now hold it here. Pull it up and squeeze. And front rear kick. You're pointing front and flexing back. Four more times. One, two, three, and four. Switching sides. One. Woo. <laughs> Two, three. But you know your body works pretty hard just to recover. When you lose your balance, you're burning calories constantly no matter what you're doing. Just working. For eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one, march it out. Okay, we're gonna grab our weights now. I'm grabbing three pounds. You get whatever's you're comfortable with. You can always go up on the weight if you need to. We're gonna start with the step touch to the right. Now bring the weights up and pull it back. Strong. Really use your back muscles here. You don't have to extend the arm fully in front. It's really pulling back that counts. And keeping those elbows up, shoulder height, keeping your abdominals in, and relaxing your neck. Try not to strain that neck. Because you're keeping your arms up this high, that's why I start light. About high repetitions. Keep going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into a squat with a bent over row. Still sitting back into that squat and squeezing into the back. Keep going. Look at Kevin go coming down so deep. You don't have to come down that deep, but it's a great stretch on his quadricep. It's getting deep into the glutes. And squeeze. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Excellent. Initiate it. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. And exhale as you pull. Excellent. Looking good. I'm not going to go as deep as him. For four, three, two, and one. Now hold it down. It's a one arm rear delt. What I want you to think about is a big round arc. But you don't alter your body position like this. Keep your shoulders square and just follow it around naturally. Keep the abs in tight. Very controlled. Good. Just keep those shoulders square. So you're initiating it from your shoulder. Good. Excellent, you guys. How you doing? You doing okay? <laughs> oh yeah. Last two. Now it's gonna get tricky. So hold it here. Now it's gonna be a two count both together. It's one, two, three, four, two. Squeeze, three. Really strict, you guys. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. Just march it out. 
Do what you can here. Keep going for four. Pull those abs in as tight as you can. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling it. <laughs> Not quite. Now single counts. Woo. One, only eight. Two, it's burning. Three, and four, five. Ouch. <laughs> and last one, standing up tall, upright rows, and lift. Lift. Elbows come high. You don't want to cave your body here. Keep your back straight. Elbows come up high. You lift your chest. You're really squeezing into your upper back. This works the trapezius. Abs are in. Oh yeah. Having some fun now. <laughs> I said it's the weighted workout. Last the back and the biceps right now. For eight, seven, how you doing? Six, I'm torturing my sister and I love it. She used to torture me when I was a kid all the time. Hold it up, I'm telling you the truth. Bring it down, bicep curl, she was awful. So this feels good, feels good. I know all of you who have a big sister out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? For eight, seven, really squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up. We're going into a squat, palms facing in. It's down. We're going to pump it for three. Two, one, squeeze up. One, two, three, squeeze up. Keep it low. Boy, am I sweating. <laughs> I hope you're sweating with me. And squeeze. Watch that form. Keep the elbows in front of your body. one. Now hold it down. Hold. Hold it here. And bring it up. Now you're going to reach, pull back, reach, and down. Last four. Hang in there. Last one. Knee ups. Feel like this. Okay, I'm giving you a break. Eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now going into plies, feet wide apart. We're going to do a chest crossover. So it's, you're starting down, and it's one. Two. What you're doing is just crossing the arm directly across your chest. It's fairly straight. It's shoulder height. Keeping that plie position strict. Isolating and control. Keep those knees back. Sweep it across, just across your chest. For four, three, two, and one. Now hold it down, arms in front, and press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold it down. We're going to go into a chest pull up. Bring your arms up here and lift. 
keep going. Just chest level. Back is straight. Pull those abs in tight. Four, three, two, and one. Now hold it down and press. Keep your back nice and straight. And hold it here. Now bring the arms up. You're gonna go into a chest press. Squeeze into the chest. Really tight, squeeze. Abs are in. Keep going. Looking good, you guys. You feeling this yet? <laughs> Four, three, two. Now hold it down and press it here. And hold, hold it deep. Hold. Hold it, pull it up, and squeeze. Now legs together, we're gonna go into kickbacks. Add a squat. Fully extending. Lengthen. Keep those elbows really tight into the body. Come down deep into that squat. For eight, seven, really squeeze it at the top. Get deep into that tricep. And hold it at the top, hold it here. Now fast pumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Nobody can say I'm not gonna get the most out of the muscle, okay? Because <laughs> I'm gonna do it, and you're gonna do it with me. Come on, just work, work your way into this. You can do it for four, three, two. Now hold it up, hold it. Now bring it center, knee up. Check your heart rate here. How are you doing? Fat burning zone? All right. How about you? All right. <laughs> He's melting away right before our eyes. Well, get ready, because this is a tough little series we're coming up to. I'm gonna give you a little extra break, because we're gonna go into the lunge series. Our favorite. <laughs> For four, three, Two and one. We're going to go into a reverse lunge, front raise. One, two, reaching right in front, control. Now add a knee up. Oh, yeah. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, now you see why I'm using threes. Add a front kick. Last one, and hold it down and press. And hold it here. Now push it back, same leg, right leg. We're lunging front, slow counts. It's one, and push it back. Two, push back. Really strong form here. Hit it hard, and back. Strong, 
Push back. Now double time. It's one, two, three. Really squeeze into that bicep. Work it. Eight more times. One. Last four. One. And two. Three. And four. Now hold it down here. Drop it down. Stationary lunge. Lateral raise. I think this is a good place for a break. <laughs> Excellent form. Good, Judy. Stand up a little taller. Don't bend from the waist. And keep that wrist down. Remember, it's all one unit. We're lifting and lowering as one unit. Now hold it down and press. And hold it here. Pull it up. Good. Now march it out. Five, six, seven. Switching legs. Keep breathing. The more you do this workout, the stronger you're going to get. Knee up. that back straight, add a front kick, five, six, seven, and eight, hold it down and press, <laughs> hold it here, and push it back. Same leg left, slow counts, let's go. It's one, push it back, two, and back, hit it hard, strong, you're just burning so many calories in this workout, I can't tell you. Now double time, let's go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hang tight, eight more. We're working. Two more. Now hold it down. Stationary lateral raise. For eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold it down and press. I know, don't hate me. And hold it here, pull it up, knee ups for one, two, woo. I felt that. Four, three, Two and one. Now it's front, down, side, and rear. Shoulder height, exhale up. Pitch your body slightly forward on that rear delt raise. Front, side, and rear delt. Control. 
just straight arm on that side and keep your palm facing down the whole time, Kevin, even on the rear delt. Side and rear. Keep it going. Side. That's it. And when it comes out to the side, make sure you stay directly to the side of your body. And when you pull it back, you're pulling back with your palms facing like this, Kevin. Palms are down. So it's front, side, here. It's not a huge alteration, but you are emphasizing the rear delt. And you can maybe exaggerate it just a little bit more, Judy. Bend over from the waist and pull from the back of your shoulder. So it's one of those exercises that looks really easy, but it's kind of tricky. Control. Really think about initiating that last move from the back of your shoulder. So relax your neck. You don't want to hunch your shoulders like that. <laughs> it is easy to do. Are you feeling this yet? <laughs> She's like, oh please, <laughs> stop. <laughs> okay, I hear you one more time. Now we're gonna go into the rotators. Now I want you to lock those elbows into your body. It does not matter how far you push it back, the idea is to keep the elbows locked in. Control, knees are bent, stomach's in tight. And relax your neck. So you wanna be like hunched, you know, just relax those shoulders. And drop your hands just a little bit. Yep. It's all level. Now double time for one, two, three, four, five, six, eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold it out, palms facing up. We're going to do a W press. Press it up, pull it down. So you're pushing out at a 45 degree angle and pulling down using your bicep. I feel this. Those shoulders are so pre-exhausted from the first series we did. So I'm sure you're really feeling this. Just do as many reps as you can. For four, pull. Three, pull. Two, and hold it down. Now we're gonna push it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now hold the weights in front and press it out. Get deep into the squat. That's it, keep pushing. If your arms are tired, just hang them by your side. It's okay. Just as long as you keep these, those hips back. I just like to hold them up here. It kind of counterbalances me a little bit. For four, three, two. Now hold it here. Hold deep. Keep holding. Squeeze, squeeze. Everything as tight as possible. You're squeezing those muscles as tight as you can. Hanging in there. Come on. Oh yeah. I know. Okay. Uh-huh, all right. Pull it up. Oh yeah. Knee up. Good job. I know. Four, three, two, and one. Now set those down. I'm gonna grab heavier weights, fives. 
and we're gonna come down onto our back so you can put ankle weights on, it's optional. Kevin's just purposely taking his time, I think. We're going right into flies. Two counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. Now make sure your back is flat here. Your elbow slightly bent, controlling each level. Exhale at the top and really expand that chest. If you wanna put a pillow underneath your shoulders, it'll give you a little bit of elevation so it'll give you more of a range of motion. Now single counts for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold it at the bottom, halfway up. One, two, three. Really control, just a small little move here. Now full range, and I want you to bring the bottoms of the weights together at the top of the move. It just works your chest at a slightly different angle. That's it. For four, three, two, and one, now chest press here, straight up. Fully extending. Not fast, for one, two, three. It's really just a half move. You don't have to fully extend it on these, but still control it. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up, palms facing together, tricep press. Drop it down, push it up. Fully extending, working that tricep. Fully extending, looking good you guys. For eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Now hold it at the top. We're gonna go right into a tricep extension. Drop it down, extend, and I want you to add a pelvic tilt here. Squeeze up. Keep those elbows right above the shoulders, and I don't want you to throw your back into it. Okay, try to just rotate your pelvis. Squeezing your butt at the top of the move, tight. My triceps talking to me, what about you guys? For four, three, two. Now hold it at the top, hold it here. Bring the weights right onto your hips and squeeze it up. Now here's the key to pelvic tilts. I don't want you to do this, where your back is way off the floor. Try to keep your back as flat as you can, and it's just a rotation of the hip. So you're tucking your butt under. I like to just keep the weights here, because it almost keeps my stomach in, and I can isolate it a little bit better. Good. Now hold it up, bring the weights back up. Another set, drop it down, squeeze it up. Squeeze. Hold it at the top. Now we're gonna go into another set, this time rotating. Drop it down, rotate at the top. 
Fully extending that arm. Squeeze that tricep. And squeeze for four, three, two, and hold it at the top, hold. Weights on your hips. Let's go for one, two. Now when you're doing this, I want you to think about relaxing your knees. Just squeeze, squeeze your butt. You feeling it yet? Yeah. Push those hips a little bit lower, Kevin, like right here. Good. And you can walk your feet a little bit further away from your body. Squeeze. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it at the top a little tighter and hold. A little tighter and hold. Now tight squeezes from there. Let's go for one, two, three. My booty is hurting. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. <laughs> for four, three, two, hold it. A little tighter and hold. A little tighter and hold. Last time, tighter. Now little ones from there. Last time it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold it up. Hold it there, release it down, set the weights down. Pull your knees into your chest for just a second. <sighs> Gladly. And release it out. Now you can put your hands underneath your lower back. We're gonna go into inner thigh, legs straight up, flex your foot, press it out, pull it in. Keep breathing. Strong leg here, press, pull it in. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold it out and little presses tight. Real small. Control it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now hold it out, point the toe, full range, press. Good job. It's a very simple exercise, but extremely effective. Press, pull it in, visualize that inner thigh working. Last eight, one, pull. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold it out, little presses. Tight. Last eight. Hang in there. And hold. Really flex those muscles, elongate your legs, and pull it in, and release. Pull the knees in. We're gonna roll over onto our sides. Working the abductors. You're going at a 45 degree angle. You should be able to see your feet in front of you. Your legs are at a 45. Hands in front, hip is forward, lift. Now it all is lifting as one unit. I don't want you to turn your hip like this. You're just lifting from your abductor here. Control it. 
keep going. See how you guys are doing. You can actually come all the way down too if you want it to be more comfortable for you. And bring your feet up just a little bit. You know, you're at a 45. And the main thing is keeping that hip forward. That's it, you're just bringing it up hip level. It's very isolated. Mm -hmm. You know, people think they have to go really high, but that's not what it's about. And you're going a little high. Keep that hip forward. Yeah, so it's really, bring your feet up just a little bit. Your body's at a total 45 degree angle and you're lowering lifting as one unit. So basically, if you had a glass of water right here, you're not gonna spill it. <laughs> it's a good visual for me, it kind of works. Okay. For eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it up. What we're gonna do is pulse, pulse up. Two. I know, it's crazy, it hurts so much. <laughs> I know if it's cramping really bad, just take a break for a second, let it recover, and then start again. Make sure your foot stays parallel, Kevin, so that toe doesn't come up. Keep the toe down. See what you want to, what you have a tendency to do is let that toe come up, but your foot is parallel to the floor. Really initiate it from here. Four, three, two, and hold it up. Now this is gonna kill you, I know it, but extend. <laughs> Extend. Just do the best you can. Honestly, if you've got to take a break, take a break and start again. Because this is a killer. I'm not messing around. I don't even have ankle weights on. <laughs> Breathe. For four, three, I know, two. Hold it here. Hold. Release it, let's pat it out. I know, drop it forward. Isn't it just so painful? We're just lifting our leg. Okay, we're gonna go right into push-ups. Now we're gonna do a slow count push-up. Two counts up, two counts down. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. If this is too hard for you, just do single counts. The main thing is keep your head in a neutral position. Keep your back straight. Hips are down. Just do as many as you can. Now we're gonna hold it down. Hold, hold, hold. Now single count for one. Two, three, if you have to take a break, sit back on your heels. Last two. And good, sit back onto your heels, get a good stretch on your back. And roll it up. We're switching sides. Bring those feet up. You should see your feet. We're at a 45 degree angle. Hand is here and lift. You wanna come all the way down? That's fine. Get a pillow, put it under your elbow, hang out. Get a book, read. <laughs> Scream, yell, whatever you have to do to get through it. Sometimes when it's cramping, it just helps to do this. I don't know why. I 
think I did a lot of reps on the other side. Uh-huh. Don't let that knee come up. Maybe if you just rest your hand here, it'll help so you don't pull up on that knee. And you just kind of want to relax your foot. Lean into it. I know it's tough. Now hold it up. We're going to pulse, pulse, and lift. One, and lift. Two, lift. Three, four, five. I'm with you. It's burning. I know. It's really burning. <laughs> You know, so everybody vents in different ways, and I, I just tend to laugh when it's burning. Whatever helps release the tension. It's killing me. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hold it up. Okay, here we go. Extend. Extend. I know, right? Ow! Yikes! Ooh! <laughs> Woo! What are we doing here? We're just extending our leg, okay? Three, two, last one, and hold. Release, pat it out. Good work. Drop that knee forward. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go into some weighted abdominals. So, grab either a five or an eight. I'm gonna grab a five. Kevin is a tough guy, he's gonna grab an eight. Okay, so we're gonna start. Put the weight right underneath your chin. Just let it rest there. Left hand behind your head. Let your head just fall into your hand and curl it up for one. Just really relax your neck. You can just rest your chin right on that weight. Curl deep and squeeze. Four more times. One, two, Three, hold it at the top, hold. Now tight little ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it up, switching sides, right hand behind your head. Slow counts, it's one, curl deep, two, three, really tuck your chin. for eight, seven, pull it in tight, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it at the top and tight ones from here. Let's go for a one. And hold. Release it down or take the weight and we're gonna reach it through. Feet are a little wider apart. I want you to look at your belly button. And reach. Reach, good job you guys, exhale. Don't let your head rock back and forth. Okay, none of this. Just keep it tucked. Pull those abs in for four. Three, good. Two, now hold it here. I want you to bring the legs long, knees out, and pulse it here. Tight. Let those knees drop out to the sides. Long lever lifts. Oh yeah, four, three, two. Now hold it here. Knees up. You're gonna put the weight down. We're gonna go right into reverse crunches. So because you have your ankle weights on, start in this position and pull the lower stomach in. 
If you don't have ankle weights on, you can bring the legs down a little bit lower. <sighs> Grip that lower stomach and crunch it in. <sighs> Eight more times. One, two, crunch it deep. Now hold it at the top, hold, hold, and release. Pull the knees into your chest and relax. Good work, excellent job. Remember, the more you do this workout, the stronger you're gonna get. Your muscular strength and endurance is gonna improve so much. You burn so many calories in this workout. Okay, release it to a full body stretch. Now cross the right leg over the left, reaching through, grab your thigh, get a good stretch, that outer thigh hip area. And release it out. Switching sides. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And release it out. Okay, now pull both knees into the chest. And roll it up. Right leg out, bring that left leg in. Okay, we're going into a hamstring stretch. Reach it down just as deep as you can go. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Interlock your fingers, reach it up to the ceiling, pull. And release the arms, switching legs. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Another inhale and exhale. And interlock your fingers, pull it up. Really lifting. Release the arms, pull the other foot in. Take a deep inhale and press those knees down. Get a good inner thigh stretch. How happy are we right now? <laughs> Another deep inhale and exhale. Bring them down a little bit deeper and release them out. Shake them out. Come up onto your feet, press it up, hold this stretch. Grab your ankles, pull your chest into your knees. Drop your head. And just shake your head back and forth. Just let it go. Let all the tension go. And hold this stretch and roll it up. And let's reach it over to the side. Other side. And bring it back to the center. Let's stretch it up one more time. And release, roll those shoulders up and back. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, release one more time. And great job. Good job, Judy. Excellent job, Kevin. Way to go. I'll see you next time.